the message that I want to talk about today really quick is let it go. And what I mean by that is drop the loads in your life off. Drop the loads off. The loads of stress, the loads of toxic people, the loads of, you know, your past, the loads of your pain, like drop those things off because a lot of us are carrying unnecessary weight in our life. And we wonder why as we're climbing towards our best life, we're, as we're climbing towards our greatest yous and me's we can be. We wonder why we're so tired, we're so stressed, we're so depleted, we're so empty because we're carrying things that we're not supposed to carry. So the question I wanna ask you real quick is, what is it in your life that you're carrying that's not your responsibility to carry? Right, and usually it's three things. It's either people, right? You're carrying people that are capable to walk by your side. You're carrying people that aren't in your life to love you, but to use you. Two, it's your past, right? You're still hanging on to something that happened years ago that you can't change. And the only way to change it is just you becoming a better person. Is you understanding you deserve better. Is you understanding that you can use whatever happened in your past to build your story. And the third thing is pain. A lot of us, we carry this pain around and we don't seek the healing that we need. And we're carrying all these things, right? It's time for you to unpack, right? Unpack the baggage in your life, the baggage of pain, the baggage of toxic people, the baggage of your toxic past forever. Because some of us are trying to take all of this baggage on a journey. We wonder why it's so hard to progress in our journey. You know, it kind of reminds me of, you know, whenever, you, if I show you my shoes right now, you probably see they're kind of dirty and uh, they're ripped up. And I usually leave them because Camelback tears my shoes up. I usually leave them because if I put them in my bag, what's gonna happen is gonna stink up my bag. Um, it's usually dirty. It's gonna get all my clean shoes and my clean clothes messed up. So I leave it. Right, I leave it at the destination I was at because I know that if I take my shoes with me, it's going to ruin the clean stuff in my baggage, right? And it's the same thing with your life. There's certain things that you cannot bring with you anymore on your journey because it's messing up, right? The relationships that are great in your life. It's messing up your self-esteem. It's messing up your mindset, right? It's dirtying up your life. All that toxic stuff is polluting your life. So unpack the necessary baggage in your life and move on with your life, all right? Because I'll be real with you. You can still reach certain heights. You can still reach new levels, but you will be exhausted when you reach these new levels. It's like me climbing this mountain. If I had 100 pounds in my back, I wouldn't have, got, I wouldn't have, got, if I would have got, if I wouldn't have gotten this high, and if I did, I would be exhausted. I'd probably be passed out. But I just brought this. I just brought what I needed in my life. And I know it's hard, but you have to realize this. Everybody can't go with you because everybody won't be willing to grow with you. And if you focus on internal, every, not just external, because we focus on external a lot, right? It's easy to point out people and they're bad for us, but there's certain habits in our life that we need to unpack forever, right? We're still trying to hold on to the same habits, expecting it to take us somewhere when it hasn't gotten us nowhere. We're still expecting to do the same things, expecting those same things to take us to a destination we've never been at, to take us to where our dreams are at. Let me, let me tell you something. Your dreams aren't enough. Too many people just live the dream. The dream is a great thing to have, but the dream isn't enough. you got to close the gap. And the only way to close the gap is to unpack the necessary baggage in your life. So I'm going to ask you this question again as I head back down. What are you carrying in your life, right? What baggage are you carrying in your life? What dead weight are you carrying in your life that's not your responsibility to carry? I might jump off of here. I do like I got a parachute. <laughs> Think about that. And it's your responsibility. It's your responsibility. Right? The pain might, might not have been your fault. Where you're at today might not have been your fault, but it's your responsibility. Your healing is your responsibility. Your growth is your responsibility. Your next level of your life is your responsibility. You developing the habits is your responsibility. You getting mentorship in your life is your responsibility. It's on you. You got a choice. Either you can sink or you can swim. You can rise or you can fall. You can blame and complain all you want, but blaming and complaining does nothing. It doesn't change anything. It just makes you feel good about doing nothing. And too many of us are too comfortable with excuses. It makes us feel good about ourselves. Well, not even feel good. It makes us be okay with where we're at. So do something with your life, all right? And not just do something with your life. Be intentional with your life. But the first step you need to understand is realizing that, okay, whatever destination I'm trying to go to, there's certain things that can no longer go with me because it's going to do nothing but stink up my life. Let the load go. Let the loads go. Drop it off. Lighten your life.
to better your life, all right? I don't just come out here for the beautiful views. I come out here to protect my peace for my mental health. Like I said, man, I have practice in my life. You know, Les Brown said something today. Ah, oh, what did he say, man? I'm trying to think of the exact quote he said. Um, man, I can't think of the quote. It's in my phone. I'll have to leave it and put, put it up. But basically, the main thing he said was that systems create success, right? It's not it's not just by chance. It's not just by luck. It's systems. It's your routines. It's your strategies that you have in your life, how you prepare yourself every single day. And I know that's fact, man. So this is one of my routines that I do to make sure I'm in the right space mentally with my life. All right. So I'm about to get out of here. I got to hike down before it gets too dark. But I'll talk to you guys for a little bit, man. Thank you. Thank you. I just want you to understand, man, that, you know, Les Brown said this also today. He said, live full, die empty. <laughs> And that's powerful. He said, you know, the richest place in the world is not the banks. It's not Dubai. The richest place in the world is a cemetery because there's so many people that are there with dreams and visions and ideas that are worth a fortune. But they let fear, opinions and judgments keep them from giving that to the world, man. So die empty in a positive way. Give all of you to this world. Who cares what people say? You know, I, didn't, I never thought I was a speaker. But one thing that I live by, I don't want you guys to live by this. <clears throat> I gotta watch my steps so I don't fall. <laughs> don't change for the title. Make the title change for you. So I didn't seek out to be a speaker. Being a speaker found me. And when you're living your purpose, which is being yourself wholeheartedly, that's what I think what purpose is. When you're using your life, you become a magnet. And your magnet becomes stronger the more you the more the more you the more you be who you were created to be. So strengthen that magnet. The most important work you ever do is the work that you're doing yourself. Remember, don't change for the title. Make the title change for you. Let me show you all my view. I'm walking down. Look at this. Listen, if you're going through a battle, you know, that's severe, find help. Ask for help. You know, I'm sharing a lot with less. It's funny, man, because like I thought a lot of stuff that I talked about was like, it's like, man, you know, this is a great idea. And Les just he brings it all out. And you realize that that he's the pioneer of everything. <laughs> One of my mentors, man, he didn't even know he was my mentor. But um, he said one of the greatest strengths you can have is ask for help. Ask for help as much as you can. And I agree. So find therapy. Find people who have dealt with what you dealt with. Seek them out and don't stop until you find those people. Your life depends on it, right? Where do I start losing my mom three years ago? It's been so hard, constant battle. I feel so lost a lot, but I'm pushing. <clears throat> You know, we all start in different places, but you start with acceptance, all right? You start with acceptance. You accept that it's happened, but you accept to keep her. You accept not to let her die with her death date, right? You keep her alive through you. And you think about how she would want you to live. You know, that's even more motivation for you, how she wants you to be. You know, when I lost a lot of my loved ones, I think about that, you know, you know, death is a thing that, you know, nobody's left, left this earth alive. 
<laughs> so nobody has figured that out yet. So death is something that's going to come to all of us. But the key is leaving something here that lives on beyond you and keeping people alive through you. I firmly believe in those things. Like I said, the main thing that I've seen with people who are actually living the life that, you know, that they dream or envision. Excuse me. How you doing? Is that, like I said up there, they're super intentional. They're intentional and they believe. They have faith. You know, it's, it's not about what their eyes see. It's about what their vision has showed them. It's what God has shown you, even when you can't see it. So a lot of people that I know that are living their best life, being the greatest them they could be, that's what they're doing. It's dark. So guys, I'm about to get off of here so I can use my flashlight to get down. So I don't tumble off the side of the mountain. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys' support. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys soon. All right, let's get it.